Okay. Yeah, it was a, a great day. Obviously, uh, you know, we're excited to be here in Frisco and really good competition. I think we um, we left Tucson at the time. Um, we're going to play TCU Wednesday in the three games here. The, the teams were 27 and one. So I think uh, maybe Indiana lost another game or something. But um, really, really good teams. And DBU was good. And I thought our guys battled hard. We had nothing to hang our heads about. It's just um, just couldn't. You know, we're not really playing winning baseball right now. Uh, so I'll try to find a way to win. What specifically are you losing if you're not playing winning baseball? Well, I mean, if you look at, I mean, obviously you're not looking at all of our games like we watch, and it's, you know, getting the, the pitch when you need it, getting that hit, putting the ball in play. Um, obviously, you know, strikeouts have, have been an issue for us. Um, it's not like we're facing um, a, a batting machine. You know, we're facing really good pitching. And uh, it's, 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 we knew that going into it. We knew it when we went to USD to play San Diego. Their first two pitches were really good too. Um, but we have to find a way, as a, you know, with our starting lineup to, to put the ball in play more. So if you notice, you know, how did they go ahead? You know, we were up by one. They got a couple guys on, ball in the dirt. You know, they you know they don't block it. You know, those, those are plays you have to make. And then the guy battles with two Heathner um, and um, hits the ball down the left field line. I mean, and that's just that's winning baseball. We have to kind of learn from those things. Obviously, Johnson, you know, when you guys see that slider, right. slider and you have a spin around you, you still put about 14. How do you prepare against that? I mean, you know that pitch is coming. How do you attack it? Yeah, we tried. I mean, we, we you know, we <laughs> we talked to our guys about it, where, you know, where to look for it so we could be successful. And, um, you know, obviously, we didn't do a good enough job preparing because it's just you know, way too many strikeouts. Talking about coming back to the Frisco Classic, I know with you guys having strong performances here in the past, and you're in the middle of this long, you know, away stretch. Was there any expectation or anything special looking at this again? No, I think it's just. I mean, I mean to be completely honest with you guys about early season baseball, we're trying to figure out our ball club. You know, we lost a ton of guys after last year's regional appearance. Uh, we felt like our pitching was going to kind of lead the way early, and it has. They, they pitch really well. Um, we're just trying to figure out a lineup. You know, we're going to mix with different guys in tomorrow. Um, so yeah, we would love to, you know, come in here and, and win it again. I know they've had a really good strong performance, but um, if we can come out of this thing and, and playing, you know, good baseball and figure out who we're going to start next week against USC in our conference opener, I think we'll feel good about ourselves. You know, tomorrow, like I told our guys, I don't ever walk into a ballpark saying, "Oh well, hopefully we look good today." And, even if we lose, you know, I, I, I expect to win and they expect to win. So this is a light down for them. But um, hey, we got two more games and these are three game series. You know, we talk about winning two out of three. So we have a chance to do that. Was there a special hype around Tyler getting, hey, getting to come back home and pitch today? I think there's a little bit, yeah. I think, I don't really know how many of our guys know that because, you know, he's, he's a new kid to the team. Um, but we wanted to get him in there and, and he did really well. And, um, you know, he's, he's been such a, positive guy on the team and helping each other out. And, uh, I was glad to see that. We'll probably get him in again uh, at the end of the weekend. Jackson, Ken, especially so a bit. Yeah. Well, pitchers are going pretty good. I mean, what have you seen in his evolution just from a freshman and bullpen guy to, you know, he Yeah, well, uh, yeah, he didn't uh, remember now. His freshman year, he didn't get the pitch wow. because he was a guy who left. He'd sign a um, letter of intent, and he didn't go there to Milwaukee, and the coach wouldn't let him out of the letter. So he basically didn't play his freshman year. Had a really good summer, and then last year, he you know he started on Friday nights for us sometimes. Um, but Kevin uh, Vance and done a really good job of, of bringing him along um, to be our Friday night starter, and he gave us you know he gave us a good chance to win. I was very very proud of him, and like you said, lead off home run, um, and then another long home run. Uh, but he didn't let that bother him. He went out there and got. Anything else for Coach Hill? No. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.